what's up youtube it's your girl shanana here and coming back to you with another video so today is pamper night how to turn from this naturalness into a lovely jumbo goddess braid so i'm very excited i'm gonna get these nails done because they are dirty paint these toes over i'm just gonna walk you through the process of what i do in my pamper night um, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell every time I upload a new video. And see you guys in a few. Okay, to start off my pampering, um, I'm going to use a new product. So, um, my mom is all loud in the background, but I'm going to use a new product. Usually I use wax under my arms and things like that. And my belly button navel and stuff like that. Except for my bikini area because it hurts like crazy. So, what the product that I'm going to be using is NADS Natural Sugar Wax. And I've been hearing about this um, a lot. <clears throat> and I'm super excited because one of the YouTube people that I follow. Oh my gosh, my underwear is in the back. <laughs> um, one of the uh, influencers that I follow. Uh, she used sugar wax and she said that it helps with discoloration under the arms and things like that. See, I got a little bit of hair. I know this is gross. Um, I have a little bit of hair underneath there and also my belly button, which I probably won't show that because, um, of course, you know, in intimates. So, um, <clears throat> this is what I'm going to be using, NADS Natural Sugar Wax. And I'm going to actually open it for you. So, let me see if I can open it real quick so you can see the consistency of it. And it's a little thick. Of course, it's thick. Sugar wax. Natural sugar wax. But that's what it looks like. And if I start to, like, you know, bend it down, you can see where it's kind of, like, leaning over a little bit. And the direction said I have to cleanse it first with a the pre-wax soap. So, I'm going to do that first. I'm going to cleanse my navel. So, I'm just going to show that. So, right here, I'm going to cleanse my navel right here. And my mom's going to do it underneath my arms. And I'm going to get that done. And um, make it do what it do. Because it's pamper night. And I'm so excited. I'm excited when I put this hair up too. Y'all. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Like, my hair never looked this shiny in its life. Y'all. All right, back to the point. But um, I'm going to come back with you in a few minutes just to show you the results. I'm going to probably show my arms, but I'm going to do my belly button first, and then I'm going to get to the arms. So stay tuned. I just finished uh, waxing and the results I did I think I recorded it but I don't know but um y'all that sugar waxing is love so I just did it on the arms and things like that I didn't show what the hair looked like on the paper so yeah I didn't want to do all that and my of course my belly button is great um I didn't do my bikini area because painful I just stick to my nair and stuff but anyway I'm about to wash my hair now um and get it set for my next protective style that i'm gonna do so that's the next thing i'm gonna do while i'm pampering so i'm kind of proud of how it's, it's coming out so far with me cutting it last year in july so like all of this y'all is like i don't know i'm very proud of it so i'm continuing to go this natural hair journey Anyway, about to wash it and I'll be back. Process. I did my arms. Um, I just washed my hair. I'm gonna show you the products that I use in my hair. I should have recorded the process, but I didn't want to um, go through the whole thing. But one day I will. I'm actually be on that. But I washed my hair with Shea Moisture's um, black castor oil, um, Jamaican black castor oil. So I used that, and I also used the conditioner with it um my hair needed a deep condition so for the deep conditioner um i used cantu shea butter uh deep condition um or deep condition treatment um deep treatment mask whatever you want to call it so i used that and i just rinsed it out my hair as you see i think i got out of product i'm not sure 
Well, anyway, so this is what my hair looks like after I just, you know, wash the product out. Yes, it looks a mess, y'all. It looks a mess. So what I'm about to do now is actually detangle it. And what I'm going to do now is start prepping my hair for my protective style. So again, I'm still doing protective style. And me, most people might think, oh, isn't that kind of being a little lazy with your hair? No, I just know how I am with my hair. And I know if I probably have my hair up, I want to touch it. So to keep me from touching it, I mean, other than me, you know, I'm still moisturizing my hair and whatsoever. But I feel like it's working for me. So keeping it for maybe about a week or two, let it breathe for about two, three days, and then I put it back up and stuff. Try to keep low manipulation on my hair. But um, if you have any tips, guys, drop them in those comments below, please.
I started out with him doing voiceover, but let me get to show you the hand I'm using. So I'm using a uh, Queen Bee um, braid, which I use this for my hair. This is what uh, Sylvia does to use my hair. And this is the last hair that I used also when I did my braids, the uh, rubber band method. So um, it's in 60 inch, cause you know, I'm a little hang time. And if you want to know what I'm using under my eyes, it's a cucumber and aloe. Um, they're a mask, eye mask, cause I gotta catch up on my sleep guys. And I have not been doing well with that. I've been going to bed at 11 and you're waking up early in the morning and it's not the business. But this is, besides that, this is what the hair looks like. My hair is already flat and stuff. So I'm gonna come back in just a few shakes. So I'm gonna actually wash my face first and get that settled. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start the process of me putting in my hair. So I braided the hair. As you see, I left some um, strands out uh, to give me that goddess look. So what I'm gonna do, it's on my left, so I'm gonna take it and flip it to my right and I'm going to make sure that it's secure and covers my bun. So the braid should be, well, it's on my right. But you, again, you want to make sure that the braid is enough where you can secure it. And I'm going to secure it with some hairpins. And then I'm going to dip it in water. Sorry, y'all. I like these better than the open ones. Seem like it'd be a little bit more secure. Y'all, this pin in my head, on my little hook. Guys, I'm gonna put more gel on my hair so that my um, hair won't look so frizzy. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and start rolling some of these up and I'm using perm rods uh, with that to roll them up. I dipped it in some water, 
does look kind of, uh, won't be jagged as it looks like. Okay, that one looks good too. All right, so I'm just taking um, my jump romper that I had on yesterday. And I'm just kind of like patting it down. Um, I want to leave my hair wrapped because uh, I do got some frizzies. My hair got so it, when I put gel on her sometimes, it does frizz up. I'm trying to make this hair set last for a week. Hopefully it does, but with me working out, it probably, it probably will. Just have to, you know, be cautious when we jumping. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna put some beads in it uh, to, you know, style it. I forgot to record the finished product, but this is what the goddess braid looks like. Um, I like it, but then again, I don't. Uh, I guess just the fact because my hair, as you see, it's a little frizzy, but it's a good style, maybe to last for a day or two. But will I keep this in my hair after then? Probably not, but yeah, this is the goddess braid. This is the finished look. I know how to stop because I had a hard time uh, taking these the hair rollers out the curlers um the hair rollers out the curlers the perm rods out the hair this morning so it kind of looked a little frizzy at the end but guys I hope you like this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and see you guys soon